Trexig afraid at the front, but they have put in a lot of work in reeling these two Frenchmen back in. So uh, let's hope for them that Matthias Skelmoser can really reap the benefits of all the work his teammates have done. They only started with six riders, so uh, one rider short. Uh, because there's a lot of illness going around the peloton. We see that in Belgium, we see it in France, uh, not so much in the UAE Tour because it's a lot um, a lot warmer there. Ooh, Ooh. bit of a problem there Ooh, for the uh, television motorbike. Completely to a standstill there. That is uh, a little bit of a problem for Motor 2, so uh, we might be left without Im images of the peloton for a little while because um, they have to get that one going. 31 seconds as we are almost on the top of this climb, just on the outskirts of uh, saint Perry. The vineyards are waiting for a new spring and summer, but uh, our two leaders are there, and they're not that far back. Um, I, it, I think I remember this climb actually from Perry-Nice last year, but I'm not completely sure if we, uh, we've done it last year in Perry-Nice. We have been here um, quite often, in, in both the Tour de France and Paris Nice. And of course, this is a fantastic climb, uh, the Côte de Vol d'Anvers. And um, yet again, it translates as Valley of Hell. This is it, the top of the climb. And then we have a very short descent and then a little bit of a climb up, just a very short one. And then this is, this is the most important point because in the next lap, this is going to be at six kilometers from the finish line. And those six kilometers are very technical downhill. And you just saw a, a slight glimpse then of the breakaway duo who uh, now have 28 seconds on that descent and just how narrow it is. We're almost on to single track uh, farm mm -hmm. roads, really. So you can yeah, see these are the how roads crucial only positioning used... will be. 